All right, so moving on, we get a couple stories about potential future Nintendo games. Uh, one of them is that Inti Creates CEO says that they would easily remake Zelda 2 if they were given the chance at it. <laughs> is that something you guys would like to see? Yes, please. <laughs> yes. If you kind of think of the newer Mario games, they have like this really cool uh on like the 2D side scrolling, they've got like three layers and it looks like the one layer is the layer that you run and move on. And then they've got a secondary background and then a third background behind that. And it it's so beautiful. It's, it's really cool how it's changed just from when Mario was only in 2D to now when it's in 3D and they've got like some really good contrasting colors and like it you can see really pretty mountains and trees and everything in the background. I feel like if they did something like that on that um, 2D aspect of Zelda 2, I think that would be really, really, really cool because then it'd be fun mm-hmm. switching back and forth. Yeah, and just in general, like, I think Zelda 2 gets a bad rep, you know, yeah. I, I've I've played it and I really like it, but obviously like a lot of classic NES games, it's just... It's not user friendly at all, and it's near impossible to ask someone in 2019 to like play that. You know, they're they're gonna get frustrated and quit. Um, but it's it's a game that has a lot of potential. You know, it's a lot like Castlevania. The dungeons kind of have a bit of a Metroidy feel, where you gotta explore and find items and stuff. And Inti Creates has a great track record with uh, action platformers. So yeah, I think they could totally pull it off. Yeah, I'll second that. The just the pedigree they have to to pull off something like this. Mm-hmm. Do you think that the game is too hard? Like, because I've heard people say Zelda 2 is the Dark Souls of the Zelda games. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, it's a hard game, but like, back then, that's how you made games difficult. Yeah. That's kind of yeah. like the whole point of the game. It just kind of throws you in it, and it's like, well, here you go, figure it out, have fun. I think- I think they could remake it in a way where it's still extremely hard, but more fairly hard. You know? Like, the AI sucked back then, so they just had to make enemies, like, have a lot of bunch of health and deal a lot of damage, because they couldn't really give them complex AI. Um, And then, you know, there's other stuff where it's just like, you know, you get a game over, you have to go all the way back to the very first area, and walk all the way back through a bunch of other areas. So, there's little quality of life adjustments they could make, there's little AI changes they could make. And then, like you said, you know, they could do a lot of interesting things visually, too. So, uh, I don't think you necessarily have to make it a substantially easier game, but there are, there are ways you can change it so that it's a different kind of hard and not, not as frustrating. Yeah, I think kind of the magic of that game was the difficulty aspect. So, mm-hmm. if, they, if they remake the game, I'd want to still see it be challenging. Sure. Because that's, I think that's a problem with a lot of Zelda games is that they're not challenging. They yeah. kind of hold your hand throughout the whole, not the whole way, but they kind of hold your hand throughout partially the whole part of the game, like a certain part here, a certain part there. And I just kind of like how Breath of the Wild did it, where it's just like, here you go, go have fun, figure yeah. it out. But here, learn these things because these are really important. But here, go have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of want, that's like what I really liked about Zelda 2 is that it did just kind of start and you figured it out so i would i would like a either keep it as hard or maybe have like a challenge mode or the three mm. heart mode or something like that like in like the, the game o- og challenge mode yeah, yeah i would love that i would love that but i just i just don't see how people can complain about zelda 2 when you've got games like ghouls and ghosts that is like <laughs> so freaking hard and just like infuriating infuriating at times and it's like you know it 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 probably hasn't aged well based on you know controls and and the difficulty but i mean can you really complain about it but the the thing i would like to see is you know exactly what they did with Link's awakening is is kind of take that same formula to give it you know a new a new skin you know reskin it to something more palatable to the modern age and you know maybe it it does get you know difficulty tweaks uh, maybe there's an OG challenge mode like like we said but you know I, I I feel like you know anything should be up for grabs it should be on the table to to kind of modernize the look because I mean that's that's almost changed the perception of the games that you had back then because it's like even for Link's Awakening it's like ah so this is what it was really supposed to look like you know maybe that's maybe 
who knows that if they hadn't built these dioramas before and, and had anticipated you know this is what we have that it physically we feel like it looks like but we're gonna have to create this in a in an 8-bit world um you know and and the same goes for like zelda 2 like this is maybe a modernization is representative of what the game was really supposed to feel like and i feel like that's a, a good way to introduce it not only to a new generation but to also appease you know the fan base that you had before that enjoyed it at the time yeah, like there's some really cool concept art and uh, like manual art and stuff for Zelda 2, so they could maybe go for that kind of aesthetic. Yeah. As long right. as they keep Bagu and Error, <laughs> yes. I'll be happy. Very important characters to Zelda lore. They're canon. <laughs>